Hi, I'm Mr. Casta at Middle Middle School, and you're watching West Virginia History in two minutes or less. Today is part one of a two-part video series on the first industries of West Virginia, so let's get started. Here we go. Many don't realize an ancient ocean once existed in the Kanawha Valley. The Iapetus Ocean predates the Atlantic Ocean and was pushed beneath the Appalachian Mountains. Because of this, salt is beneath the ground. Before people lived in the area, buffalo and deer used salt springs along the Kanawha River. Years later, the Shawnee used these licks near present-day Malden, where they would boil the brine, which is a salt water mixture, and take the salt back into Ohio. By 1797, Elisha Brooks built the first salt furnace in the area, and by 1808, Joseph Ruffner drilled a well to get brine out. They used a hollowed-out sycamore tree to get the brine out under the mire in the area. As production picked up and more wells were drilled, oil sometimes came out as well. The oil was often diverted to the Kanawha River, and boat captains even called it Old Greasy. During the Civil War, Union troops captured many salt mines that helped them preserve food. From World War I to present day, salt has been used in the state by chemical companies in Marshall and Tyler counties in particular that are both along the Ohio River. Explorer John Peter Salling discovered coal along the tributary in the Kanawha River in 1742. Today, the Coal River runs through Boone County. With an abundance of timber in the area, though, coal extraction didn't pick up until the mid-1800s when it was used for salt production. Steamboats and factories. Coal production grew statewide through the 20th century. Coal is found in 53 of the 55 counties in West Virginia. That only leaves out Jefferson and Hardy. Much of West Virginia's diversity comes from the boom that brought many immigrants in from European countries like England and Scotland. West Virginia's population exploded due to the coal industry and the Pocahontas coal seam in southern West Virginia. It put small towns like Bramwell, Bluefield, and Welch on the map. West Virginia has 4% of all coal reserves. As of 2020, 88% of its electricity comes from coal and nearly 20% of the nation's electricity. Throughout the Industrial Revolution, coal production has been instrumental in the growth of the United States through things like making steel and producing electricity.